Welcome to STAD Foundation Advanced Tutorials by Civil Thinking and this is our first tutorial on the STAD Foundation actual software. In the previous class we have learned some basic you know concepts in the foundation engineering. So now we are going to apply those concepts in our STAD Foundation Advanced Tutorials. Okay. Now when you open STAD Foundation Advanced this is what you see. This is the first interface what you you know normally see depending on your version. So, I am using the latest version of STAD Foundation Advance which is V9. Okay. Now, you might be using some older versions. V9 is the latest version. Okay. So, when you open the STAD Foundation, this is what you you will expect. Okay. Now, you can see here this is the start page. Okay. And we have this is our main navigator. Okay. And this is our data input panel. Okay. So, in the start page when you scroll down you will see these three modes general mode plant mode and toolkit mode okay and here you can click on new file to create a new project you can already you know open a uh, an already existing project that you are working on by clicking on open file okay now you can also use this open here okay or you can also click here to create a new project okay now you can see these options here you can import you know the stad pro uh, project if you if you are working on in the stad pro but this is stad foundation advance okay so don't worry you can import it here by clicking on import stad pro okay and also if you are working on the excel sheet you can click on import spreadsheet okay and also when you want you know you want to export your project you know in in the uh, spreadsheet in the excel sheet format you can also click on this export okay so and also if you want to set the units you can click on unit setup and you can choose whatever the units you want okay but basically you know the normally uh, we often use english units okay or we use si units okay so you can simply click on these but if you want you know more than you know different from SI unit or English unit you can choose your length you can choose your force units here okay now you can also choose your moment units you can choose your you know uh, reinforcing bar unit length okay and also you can choose the you know reinforcing space here and you can also choose you know the UDL or the you know unit per uh, load per unit length right the units you you can choose here okay but normally uh, in most of the projects you either use si units so you click simply here or you can use english units okay in the english you have this fit keep right keep fit so i will keep it as si units because i prefer si units okay and hit okay okay then we have also here we have global settings okay now generally you know when we do more and more projects i will explain each and everything but right now what I want to tell you here is here rigid foundation settings okay now in the rigid foundation settings you can use what kind of bearing capacity you want to use in your project okay you can use gross bearing capacity or you can use net bearing capacity okay now you might have hear, heard about these gross bearing capacity right or the net bearing capacity from the foundation engineering or the you know uh, geotechnical engineering classes okay so you can choose whatever you want but basically right now I am not gonna you know touch anything here but if we need anything to change in our upcoming projects so i will definitely tell you okay so this is ma mainly what i wanted to you what i wanted to tell you here okay so the important thing is unit unit right now and other important thing is these three modes okay you can see here it is general mode this one is plant mode and this one is toolkit mode okay so it is important to know what are these three modes general mode plant mode and toolkit mode so when you have a you know foundation engineering project so what are you going to use that is the main thing okay now let me tell you uh, let me show it i have already taken the screenshot okay i will explain it to you here now you can see here i just took you know i have taken the screenshot earlier so this is what you were looking right so this is our general mode this is our plant mode and this is our toolkit mode okay now the general mode is important you know when you have the entire foundation okay 
you want to design entire foundation okay with all kind of footings okay so you use general mode for example you know for example when you look at a project real life project you don't have only one kind of footing right maybe you might have on one side you might have you know strap footing right you might have some footings uh, part of foundation maybe they are uh, you know isolated right then you also might have you know deep foundation somewhere right so if you want to design the entire foundation engineering project okay entire the foundation you can use general mode okay so general mode is you know quite you know kind of uh, you know it is a full fledged mode okay so you can use what you can do in the general mode you can create all of these projects there you can model them and then because there are different types of you know footings right Th this one is isolated this is for example you know deep foundation maybe pile foundation or you know caisson foundation and this is strap foundation right so what you will do you will create jobs okay in the general mode you will create jobs so for example this you can classify this as you know job 1 because this is one kind of footing because you create different jobs for different you know shapes different kind of footings okay so this for example you in the general mode you will create this job 1 and this might be job 2 for example and this might be job 3 okay so you can create different jobs for different kind of footings in the same you know project and you can analyze each and everything okay then we have this plant mode you know it is a special mode where you you know you might have seen these vessels okay where you support the vessels okay let me show you those uh, vessels here now you can see here this plant mode okay now you can see we use different you know vertical vessels horizontal vessels etc okay so for example here you can see this is a vertical vessel right this is a vertical vessel and it is supported by this footing okay this is an octagonal footing okay so you will use if you want to you know design a vessel so you can use plant mode similarly we have different kinds of footings on which these vessels are you know supported then we have again this is a vertical vessel and in right in here the foundation is square footing right it is supported by a square footing again you can use the plant mode similarly this is again a vertical vessel right but here the footing is changed to you know pile pile foundation octagonal pile pile cap right this is the pile cap okay and below it we have piles okay because on the piles we have pile caps okay then we have horizontal uh, you know for example staked heat exchange okay this is a horizontal uh, staked uh, you know heat exchange and you can see this is one individual uh, isolated footing right and this is another isolated footing okay so again you can use uh, plant mode for this but and most importantly uh, what i want to tell you is this is this is the drill drilled pier embedded into multi layer soil okay so if you want you know carry out lateral analysis lateral analysis of you know pier okay so you can use plant mode for that okay then we have then we have we have toolkit mode okay now toolkit what is toolkit mode you can basically you know toolkit mode is simple simplified version of general mode in the general mode you can you know uh, design the entire foundation but toolkit is it is only for one okay for only one footing okay for example here we have one two and three footings okay and together you can uh, you know design them you can analyze them in the general mode right but you have when you have only one for example only this one okay so you know to keep make the things easy uh, strat foundation has you know provided as a dedicated mode toolkit mode because you only have one foundation for example you have an isolated footing okay or you have a combined footing uh, the thing is that if you have only one okay so to keep the you know make the things faster so uh, 
uh, state foundation advance has provided as a toolkit mode okay it is just a simplified mode okay it does not have a lot features like this obviously because you are you know designing and analyzing only one type of foundation so then you will use toolkit mode okay so basically what we are going to do uh, yes one thing is i told you you can you know design the entire foundation of all kind of footings in the general mode but it does not mean that you cannot analyze only one okay you can okay you can only analyze only one type of footing okay for example isolated footing or anything if you want you can also analyze it in the general mode okay so general mode is basically full fledged mode okay so this is the reason we often you know do all kind of our works in fact all of my tutorials are going to be in the general mode okay but i will definitely show you one tutorial in the toolkit mode because there will be no difference in the results okay and in fact the you know the steps are same okay so i think that's it this is what i want to tell you in this introductory class okay so in the coming classes we are going to see the uh design and analysis of an isolated footing okay in the general mode of course okay because this is the full fledged mode so i will prefer general mode okay so if you have any doubt you can you know comment or you can also comment me in case you need any help in your you know foundation engineering project so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you